Hey Joe, did you watch the new uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre on uh, Netflix? What the fuck was that? Oh my god, Joe, that was so fucking stupid. It was so stupid that Alex was smart enough not to <laughs> fucking watch it. Uh, we, were, smart one. we were talking on the news, and I was like, I was going to do a vlog on my own, but then Joe said, I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You I love did? horror movies. I did. I, I love, love horror, horror movies, movies too. So I was like, I have to watch it. So I I'm going to fucking watch it. So I had to watch this one. Joe, this is, oh my God, that's so fucking stupid is what you'll say s at least seven times in the film. Hey, hell, maybe 14 times. You know those moments where you're like, why the fuck are they doing that? So fucking stupid. And and I, you know, it's a whore. I grant a few of those, right? Yeah, Because no. you have to have a few of those. Exactly. But by the 27th one, you're like, God, oh my fucking God, your suspension of disbelief is completely obliterated. And this is just a stupid fucking movie. So we want to rant together. Joe, what did you think of... The trash. New <laughs> trash. Trash. It was fucking trash. I was embarrassed for Austin because, like, you know, Austin said, oh, just outside Austin. There's no fucking city just outside Austin called Harlow. At least not, not one that I know of. No, it's like way, it way, way out there. No. It's by Greenfield. What would you, what'd you think? It was terrible. Like, I did, like, uh, yes, it is a horror movie. People do stupid shit, but this is, like, beyond doing stupid shit. And the characters... I don't give a fuck about the characters. Sometimes, like, you're you're in that place of a, a certain character that you like. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, let's see if this person survives. I want them to survive. They're pretty funny. They're pretty cool. I had none of them. I was like, fucking Leatherface, kill them all. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. These people are so stupid. I don't know what they're trying to go for in their message. Like, I thought it was going to be some kind of social, um, some social message. Yeah. But then it's it kind of gentrification is bad. Well, it, it also took back like what they were saying. So yeah. I was kind of confused on which way the director was going. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll just spoil it. It's a fucking yeah, stupid. It's anyways. fucking stupid ass yeah. movie. There's going to be spoilers included here. And we'll give you a final we'll give you a final verdict. So go ahead. Uh, and well, Harlow is a real town. The yeah. exact town location was seemingly about four miles south of Greenville. This was a yeah. long time ago, though, and it's not like in. But the it was but the, the real Texas just Chainsaw outside Massacre, of Austin is like where we live. I think it was in Wisconsin <laughs> but just or suburban, something. Suburban. The no, there it was. There was it was Texas. It was Texas was Chainsaw it? Massacre. Joe's tradition. The the fable was you know somewhere outside of Austin. Mm. Well, anyways, uh, these people they're influencers or some bullshit like that. They buy everything up the city else. because they're tired of violence and everything. and so They, they want to make a social justice warrior utopia in the middle of fucking East or West Texas? Are you kidding me? The and first then, people yeah. they run into are fucking hey, rednecks that are sick of their shit. Is a Confederate flag yeah. in the South? You take that fucking shit down. I'm like, okay. Like, this and is then an then old ass town. You're bound to find some <laughs> bullshit. Like, just take it down. Yeah. You, you, Take it down and say, and oh God, Joe, it's fucking stupid. It was basically, uh, you know, injecting a lot of uh, current uh, politics yes. in it, and it was cringy. Like the one of the main characters I is afraid of school shootings, and so they somehow try to factor in school yeah, shootings that's into the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and it's like she's that's triggered. the point where I like okay, like uh, they're leaving because she hates guns and she didn't want she was a, a victim of a school shooting. Yeah, but then at the end she's picking up a gun. I was like, okay, where is? The direct going with this. She doesn't like guns, but then she's going to use a gun to protect her sister yeah, and her family. Yeah, that's probably what it's going to be. And anything that you can fucking predict, you see coming from a mile away. And that's exactly what happens. But it's done in the shittiest, poorest way. And it's a fucking shame. Because this film is pretty gory. And it's really well done on the amount of blood and gore. Yes. That's the only thing this only film thing. has going for it. It has... Texas in it. Texas was mentioned. It has a chainsaw, and there is a massacre in it. But other than those three things, and you can kind of maybe get an idea of my rating. I do like other than those well, three things. Nothing else in this film is worth a damn. No, like even like if it's streaming on Netflix, I still would not recommend this. Only no. if you want to see one <laughs> scene. The bus scene was bus fun, scene. like cool, yeah. but at the same time, I, I almost turned garbage. it off. Yeah. I almost fucking turned it off. Cause and you watch bad Leather movies, Yes, Joe. Leatherface comes in the bus. There's a whole bunch of people, and he has a chainsaw. Everyone picks up their phone. You do anything, we'll cancel your ass. <laughs> 
That was a cringy ass joke, Joe. That was a fucking self friendship. These fucking I wanted to turn it off. You wanted to see them get killed, I, is what you did. And I, he did no, chop I was them like, please, nice. please, Leatherface. He fucking yes, chops them up real You did it. And they're so fucking stupid that none of them decide to go around him or exit the bus as he's chopping people up. And it takes a little bit to like get the, the chainsaw in people's bodies and cuts their heads and cuts their arms. And everybody just, just stays in a pile over there. They're filming. Nobody pushes they're right filming. by him. <laughs> they don't film the whole time. <laughs> it basically. Like, and then you see the comments. It's like, oh, my God, this is so fake. Oh, is this real? What's going on? It's like, uh, I want to go. Where is this attraction? So I they turn. They, I so hated it. it. The whole story is fucking stupid. So uh, mm -hmm. it's a sequel, I guess, because yes. uh, Leatherface is no longer in that abandoned house with his crazy ass family. I guess, you know, because all those characters are dead and he's moved on. He's been adopted in this city, Harlow, Texas. Uh, this is a ghost town. Like you said, the social justice warriors show up in a bus to buy all the buildings. And it makes some of the locals like real uh, fucking annoyed. And um, he's at a, a, an orphanage, basically. He's the last remaining person that this old lady, she's looking creepy. And she's got the oxygen. And, and they're like, get out of here, you know. And the fucking, none of the main characters are sympathetic. No. In fact, they make Leatherface sympathetic. In fact, I think Leatherface, uh, I was no, rooting I was, for Leatherface the <laughs> whole fucking so was time. I. So and was I. I wanted all these people to die because either I was rolling my eyes or I'm like, no, you actually are a piece of shit. They throw this old lady out of her house because they want to give her house to some fucking social justice thing and create it's like, a no, utopia. No, you're supposed to be here. We bought the whole town. It's like, no, this is my house. Yeah, I, this actually, is, I live here. I got this the is deed. all I know. It's and like, she's yeah. like, well, give me the deed. She's like, I don't know where it's at because you don't have it, bitch. And take the fucking you know, flag. And she's like, this, look, I've helped people just like you. She's talking about how his skin color is mm -hmm. like, I'm not racist. And they, and they throw her the fuck out And she starts to flip out Right They call the police on She's her old And, the, they just and Leatherface her is looking at Right there Like hey, what the man, fuck Did mom. you do to my adopted mom And he starts killing everybody That's basically the plot yeah. and, and it turns out that Later on They find the deed to her house In the fucking house And it's got her name on it So they fucked up and and then at one point One of the characters was like No you deserve to kill me And I was like Yes bitch he does And I hope you fucking die and anyways, anyway, so it's just, oh, my God. I think one of the worst parts, so already <sighs> that story sounds fucking awful, right? A social justice warrior utopia. But wait, there's more. But wait, <laughs> there's more. They try to do the Jamie Lee Curtis thing. Yes. I was like, Sally, And this old woman acts what so stupid. So her whole thing is she became a Texas Ranger because she was searching for leather. The 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 final girl that escaped. Yes. Uh, was seventies one. At finding twenty. Just get the fucking copying Holly uh, Halloween right with the Jamie Lee Curtis, and I was gonna give it a and honestly and she's like. You know, she's got a badass truck and she brings weapons when she hears that people are dying, right? And honestly, I was going to give the movie a little bit of point if they just killed her off fucking immediately. Like, she's like, all right, I'm going to do this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, at least it would have meant something to subvert your expectations. Something. But no, they do the – she's so fucking stupid. They take it so serious. She gets Leatherface in a compromised position. Yes. She has him. She has got a shotgun in. She just saw Leatherface murder an entire fucking town and these people scream of blood all over them. And instead of firing her shotgun multiple times for this person that she wanted to kill for 40 years, she says, say my name. And the, the dialogue is so bad. It's like, say, say my, my name. name. You don't even know and my name. And he stands up like... and he gets closer and she's like, say my, you don't even know who I am. It's it's like, like, look, look Sally, is. it's been like a fucking 40 years. 40 years. I don't remember what the fuck I did last week. Yeah. <laughs> you expect me to know your name? She can't <laughs> shoot sorry. him because he say her name. And fi finally, later on, she shoots him. But this time at long range, where it nicks his shoulder. And so there's so many moments of like like this. It's like, like why did nobody... Doing? The first guy that gets killed... Or the first time the whole town sees a guy get killed, it's the black dude who uh, took a fucking hatchet to the face, and and again, really good gore. Yeah, like, that's it's the only Jaws good part. Hanging out, yeah. And they're like, "Fuck!" Everybody run to the bus, and then when they get on the bus, they don't they don't leave. I guess they don't they, fu they don't fucking drive off. I guess because they, 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 the they, key they write in the fact that they didn't have the keys, but it's like whatever. Um, it's just, and then you have like uh, the the redneck. Who you know as 
he's got the coal truck where he's got tons and tons of like putting shit in the atmosphere. She's like, why do you even do that? And he's like, I don't like people tell me what to do. Well, when we first get introduced to that character, right off the bat, the main character, I forget mm. what her name is. Yeah, she starts like just like, oh, someone has a small PP. Yeah. Oh, he's carrying a gun. I was like. Fuck you. Why are you doing Fuck that? You. Like you don't yeah. even know the guy, but you're just gonna go off assumptions. He's exactly. like, hey, there's like fucking hogs here destroying the crops. I yeah. gotta So it doesn't make any sense <laughs> because it's like it's like you know, in, in horror movies, do are we supposed to hate the main characters? In some cases, yes. Yeah. Because you wanna hate them, you wanna see them kill. But ones. they were trying to paint these people as really good people. They were on the side of right and that and that might be social commentary where it's like, no, they're just superficial and they should be killed, and that's fine, and I get that, but they're just pieces of shit. And you, you don't. The way the director was doing it was just kind of mix. Mm -hmm. Like he didn't pick to what he was doing. Again, yeah. like with the, it's like oh she hates guns. She doesn't want to be in the town with guns. And then she grabs a gun and starts trying to fire. Right. Him. So what's like, the oh, message? So what's there? the message? Like, like save, that doesn't make any sense. Use a gun to save. But fucking guns leave the are city. Bad. There's plenty of other cars and ways to do it. Just fucking leave. I I don't know. Anyways, it makes the character of it fucks up the character of Leatherface, makes him sympathetic. There's moments where he's showing uh, sort of um, remorse for some of his kills. Not really. He puts the lady's ha hair over her and dresses her up, but then rips her face off and wears her face for the rest of the film. Because the blonde lady, why did the blonde lady have to go? Because the old lady that they kicked out of the house is kind of having a heart attack. And so as they're transporting her away, she dies. And then that's when Leatherface is in the back because he's in the back with his mom, goes crazy, starts killing the cops, and killing everybody. But she could have left multiple times and when she was just there. Yeah. And it's, well, why did she even need to leave with him in the first place? She didn't. Just to be just nice to, and be like, hey, um, everything's this a misunderstanding. It's okay. She had no There's purpose. no reason. No just purpose. For just, just for a kill. Just for a kill. That's what yeah. it was. And there's so much of that in this film. Um, anyways... So obviously, and we're spoiling now. We're in spoilers. We, yeah. uh, don't watch it. Don't watch don't it. Watch it's it. fucking terrible. The the this Jamie Lee Curtis. Well, let's give it a final verdict, actually, Joe. What what would you give this? I'm it torn, ends like a two or three. So stupidly. Two or yeah. three. I'm gonna give it a fucking three. three. What are you giving? It? Well, I was just thinking three is like it's it was just on fucking Netflix. It's yeah. Still, like I did like that bus scene. But I turned almost turned off because like we'll cancel your ass. Every single character is a stupid fucking idiot that deserves to die. Yes, and, and the yes, smartest again, shit. Yes, is it's done. a horror movie, but you can do horror movies and not make it that idiotic. Right. And if it was done idiotic on purpose, like some people probably in the comments are now typing, it's that it they didn't have fun with it. They no. didn't push it in that direction. They took it very serious. They took it like these are smart decisions. The smartest shit decision is done by Leatherface. Yeah, they could have been this. like, we'll catch you. And he's you. mentally challenged. And he's smarter than everybody in the goddamn city. Yeah, they could have just had fun with it. Like, we'll catch you. Yeah, you tell him, Chad. And then he dies. It's like, oh, fuck. Or so, do some stupid yeah. shit. Everyone's yeah. just like. Stupid just... shit to make people laugh. But no, they no. took it too serious. They had the visuals. But not the story. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Good visuals because it was That's competently it. filmed. It was dark. It was nice. It was, uh, you know, uh, uh, cinematography. Yeah, at the same time, good. like the Leatherface did not look like Leatherface, though. And Leatherface uh, was older, Joe. It's been a long time. It's been like 40 years or something. Yeah, right? but still, so just didn't, that. Look, eh, didn't look right. Didn't look, it's not right. <laughs> so what would you give it? I'm with you. I'll give it a three. Three just, out of ten. Because everyone pretty much dies. So we have to go <laughs> through the story. So obviously, uh, you know, the, the black guy dies as uh, Leatherface comes back in the house. He notices the black dude in there, fucking slashes his face off. Because he's looking for the um, deed. Looking for the deed. Uh, and, and, and the chick is in the house as well, the main chick. And, and she hides under the bed. That's when the... Redneck comes in after the black dude wanders, stumbles out there and dies, and he's got a gun. And he's doing really, really safe, you know, sort of room-clearing stuff. Uh, but, uh, you know, when he comes in, Leatherface is hiding behind the mirror. At no point does the girl under the bed scream out, he's, uh, he's behind the fucking door! It's a horror movie. At that point. <laughs> and then, so she kicks the mirror so that he can see Leatherface in the mirror, and then Leatherface knocks the door, which, you know, he's not able to shoot him. And he fucking brutalizes this guy, which sucks, because turns out the redneck dude was probably the best character in the whole fucking thing. It's, he was! Yeah, as far as... Uh, 
being nice and having his shit together. And he's they're, like, I carry yeah, a gun being, because there's feral hogs exactly. in this area. They're being a dick to him. And he's like, well, I'm your contractor. You're like, I could have fucked you guys over. But, yeah, but he doesn't. here trying and to help fact, you. He helps him. That's her house, man. You try to kick her out. And yeah. What did you expect? That's all she's known. And she's old. You're like, get the fuck out, old lady. <laughs> fuck you, kids. Fuck you, kids. <laughs> I, I, I felt bad for the lady. <laughs> I felt bad for the lady, too. Um. Anyways, uh, so so those those characters die. Uh, the the his blonde girlfriend dies. Uh, I thought it was his girlfriend at first, but I guess not. He was just saying that so that the cop would be nice to him because when she dies, he's like, oh well, like the black dude when he was like, nah, I don't know, it's, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, I Do you remember for, his reaction to it? I thought that was for the old lady, because he's like, oh, the lady died. Uh, it's, yeah. like, oh, it's like, oh, that's all you have to say? Oh, I guess they don't know that she's dead. You're right. Yeah. She, at that point, they didn't know that she was dead. So, okay. So, anyways, um, okay. So, then he get he, they just never get in their fucking cars and leave. It's just so frustrating. Uh, find keys to another car and leave. They and, had the, the And they keep injecting key. this school shooter thing, which is so annoying. Yeah. Like, uh, I thought they were going to go somewhere with it, but they really don't. didn't go anywhere. Yeah. They're just like, all right, I get it. She's a victim. Now what? Yeah. What are you going to do with her character? She she, uh, she finally picks up the AR, and she can't fire the AR. Because, uh, so, But luckily, she's saved by the survivor, stupid lady, who Sally. was killed, by the way. This is another stupid moment, right? Uh, so this lady comes out. She's got the <laughs> shotgun. She shoots him at long range. And then with a shotgun, With though. a shotgun at long range. And then she gets up close to it. He, like, charges her. Yes. He goes, hides in the shadows, and she's, like, looking for him, and he's making noise with the fucking chainsaw. And then the, uh, your <laughs> footsteps. <laughs> and, he was, <laughs> and he just rushes her. He's, like, fucking, I don't know, 80 years old, and she's, like, nine. And, and he manages to get her, and he fucking impales her and lifts her up, and I'm, like, well, oh, well, Jamie Lee Curtis is dead, right? Well, yeah, like, I, I turned, that's when I turned to Jacob. I was, like, shit. imagine you... Looking for this guy for 40 years, you try to kill him. You had him dead to rights in the beginning, and then he just kills you. And she's a Texas <laughs> Ranger, Joe. It's How would you stupid. feel? Like a fucking An idiot. idiot. <laughs> and then, uh, so, so then the two girls, the two survivor girls, uh, are like, oh, my God. And so they, they get in the car. They start the car, and they drive the car towards Leatherface while he's holding her up so that he, they can fucking run him over because yeah. shit is done. And all he does is he throws the fucking chainsaw at the windshield, and they decide to swerve the entire fucking car, continue to depress the gas pedal so that it slams into something, and fucking impales her. It's like, you, you're you so stupid. There's no reason to swerve the fucking car in the first place. <laughs> like an idiot. Yep. Every single character is dumb. Anyways, so then when she's stuck in the car, the youngest girl, the school shooter survivor, <laughs> has to uh, go and and go into the building and fight her, and and uh, he tricks her. He actually leaves the fucking <laughs> uh, chainsaw on the ground. She's like, Ugh, and then he fucking comes out and he pushes her into the water. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't like kill her. And then that's when we get the slow mo cringe where she's getting up and. And you think that it's going to be like they're going to mimic that he's a school shooter. But they don't really do that. They just, it's so weird. Yeah, I don't know. He and then they have that. one final dumbest scene in the whole film. So she, uh, she finally gets, what, the hold of the gun and she shoots him. Uh, and then her caretaker, her sister character comes out. And she finishes him off with his own chainsaw. So she uppercuts him with the chainsaw, and he falls into the back into the water. Mm -hmm. okay? That's when I was screaming, double dead. tap. Double tap. <laughs> double tap. Fucking just cut his whole head off, right? That might be a way to stop him. But no, they just walk off as normal horror <laughs> films do. And the final's dumbest scene, they get in their fucking Tesla, and the first thing they do... <laughs> Yeah, like it's a great time. Like this, autopilot. Nobody fucking die. They hit autopilot and they hit the sunroof. Let's turn on the fucking. Let's just open the sunroof. And you know what's gonna I'd happen? Be like, get in the car, fucking haul ass. Right. Let's, why? And why did you go notice it was five morning? miles an hour? Like what the fuck? It was late. It was it was night. So you're telling me they waited till morning to fucking leave? Yes. So you're just fucking left at night. They're yes. leaving in the daytime. So then they open the sunroof because it has to be in daytime so they could do the stupid sunroof thing. And he gra and he just shows up randomly, grabs her uh, older sister and cuts her head off. And uh, while she's like, no, she comes up over the sun, no, 
as the car's driving away. Yeah. That, that and it ends with terrible. multicolored neon club millennial. I still said they bullshit. should have made like a comedy or something. Awful writing. Should have been a comedy. Like whenever the, Lean old, lady, into that the old lady was shooting to help the girls, she'd be like, the buck stops here and <laughs> shoot some buck shots. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! That done. would be amazing. Or have <laughs> fun with it. If if you're doing what I think they're trying to do, and all these characters are a piece of shit, and it's a commentary on goddamn gentrification and these these annoying millennials, they didn't lean into that, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, they, they took it done, serious. Yeah, it, it was done written by Thomas, Chris Thomas Devlin. What else did he do? He did uh, this, and that's it. They just gave that's a, a big guy, thing just, to take just, on right. if you're gonna try to he do hasn't that. Done anything else? And also, we found out in this movie that the classic sound there is a barbecue pit opening. Because when, when all the people show up for the, for yeah. the um, auction. <laughs> no, it's not at the fucking picture thing. You know, they, they change the fucking. Fuck this movie. Then at the very end, uh, you saw at the very end, he yeah. goes home. Yeah, he goes back to his place so they can continue. It's like, no, just stop it. Just stop. Just don't do this. Yeah. See, here's the All thing. Right. With this one was trash. I saw a bunch of like Russian names in the credits. You see all those like, non-stop Russian names. Oh, no, I, I was just names, like, is there anything else I fast forward? <laughs> it's, a, it's Bulgaria. Uh, principal photography commenced in Bulgaria. However, after being unimpressed with what was filmed, get this, Joe, the studio fired the original directors, Ryan and Andy Tohill, David Blue Garcia, the director that directed this, was hired to replace him them as director. The footage shot by the Toehill brothers would not be used, with Garcia starting completely over on the production. So, they there was a this worse is one. one they, there's a worse one. Oh, I almost think that's the better one, right. and this is the worst one that we got, except for the gore. I'll tell you, man, the gore is pretty cool but in it's this, still and not if I can see that, it's still not. Worth watching. No. Like if you could probably. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, you're a horror fan. Yeah, and I am. Like, like I like the first the one. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Because I like the first one. Because like Leatherface was in a psychotic family. He was like a, a fucking product of nothing but crazy ass people. Yeah. So that's what he grew up with. This is just like, hey, you're kicking my mom out of her house. Fuck you guys. I'm going after you. Yeah. That's what Leatherface was in this one. Completely. And honest. he's justified. Yep. You killed my mom. Fuck you. You yeah. gonna hurt my mom? Kick yeah. her out of her own house? I'm gonna hurt I'm you. I'm gonna do the same thing. <laughs> Fuck you guys. And kill her. You, yeah. You, you, you made you her have a heart attack. So like he and is this a sympathetic. Is legit. He's, he's her house. <laughs> he's the hero in the film. Though. He is. Uh, That's the sad part. It lacks imagination. It does. It lacks uh, uh, good writing. It uh, is unscary. So many moments you're like, why are you? You're this is so fucking stupid. I'll grant you that because they're trying to do a classic grinder house kind of thing, right? Is what some people will say. But I'll tell you, watch the movie and you know, no, mm -hmm. it goes way too far with that. And it doesn't, uh, you know, it takes it too seriously. It doesn't but, do it because, like, the right real way. quick, they could have just been like in the farmhouse, they could have lived there, they bought the town. And they're just having parties, and then they're just disgruntled or something. Yeah. It's like, no, I hate these people around our <laughs> neighborhoods, this and that. And then he goes in the killing spree. Bam. One. Done. So so far, <laughs> is this the worst film of this year? Because a three out of ten is pretty fucking bad. Honestly, I think Yeah, it is. I'd rather see Uncharted. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather watch Uncharted five four, times rather than this. Actually, there was some good fucking uh, rapport back and forth. So this thing had a 20-something and a 30-something on audience. Now it's rising and has a 37 and a 58 on 37. audience. 37? I thought it was a 38 on audience. Yeah, like, uh, yeah on it was. Weekend. It's going up because more and more people are seeing it, I guess, and people are like raising the score, and, and it's just it's awful. It's um, It's bad. Yeah, and like horror movies don't have to be like, oh, just stupid shit. Like uh, this, <sighs> it's smarter these days, especially if you're it gonna bring be. back an old franchise that's hot and if you're right trying now. To send a message, slashes are hot right now. I was Halloween. confused about his message. I still don't know what the fuck he was trying to convey. Uh, maybe he was just trying to say so, uh, social media, Twitter, fucking users, and and gentrification. All those people are fucking stupid. Kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what I like he's that. saying. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah. I guess is that is that the message? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. 
<laughs> get the fuck out of our southern town. Don't rip down our Confederate yeah. flags and you would have survived. Okay, that's there's another message. Yeah, exactly. The message is just a Texas Chainsaw it's Massacre, it. right? A weak, weak, weak plot weak. and really stupid, and I hated it. And other than the blood and the gore, I think it's a terrible film. It and is. So, yeah. It's a very terrible film. That's our review. Yes, you could say they massacred this film. <laughs> they massacred the <laughs> franchise. Oh, no. no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid, man. Poor, poor fucking Leatherface. Like, this is dumb, dumb. Like, I watched dumb, dumb, but this shit, is like man. beyond that. Yeah. I wouldn't even recommend this one. Yeah. But I do recommend if you guys ever watch Doll Man. It's 1991. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> so just recently, L- RLM had that actor in. Uh, that was uh, After Dark. Did you see the video on not. After Dark? Mm-hmm. And they mentioned Doll Man. And you just now saw Doll Man? Oh, yeah, because a uh, <laughs> buddy, a uh, god I actually was like, hey, because you watched it too. He's like, Doll check man. out this film. I was like, all right. <laughs> what we're saying is that, you know, you might, you might enjoy it. I don't know how this fucking audience score is rising. I'm getting worried that people out there are like, you guys are just being hard on it. It's like, fuck off. This how is a bad are we film. Being, it was There's so many better whores, and it could have been done much better. if It just needed a script doctor, really. Yeah. Because the gore and the visuals are good. The cinematography is good. Better writing, better characters, or if you want these characters to be pieces of shit so we can all root for them to die, write it uh, have a script, Doctor, so that it's not so fucking asinine stupid. Every goddamn thing that happens in it makes you go, are you fucking serious? No. You need a few of those, and that's it. All right, guys? Yeah. That's it for this Skip one. It. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, Bye guys. guys.